to prevent it from potentially happening, then I just do bits, right? Um, I always say this as a rule of thumb. I think Buff Pup, I think you told me this when we were doing the art art uh, pot, artist podcast but uh, usually you wait I th- is it 30 days or 60 days I forget but uh, when you get a donation like a large donation you typically want to wait like a month or two before you use the money because people will charge back and if you use the money immediately and you're like oh shit you know you have a better case of defending yourself if you wait like 60 days or whatever 30 days 60 days to be extra safe okay that was only three there's like 20 dabs Um, but yeah, what time is it? It's uh, currently 6.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Also, I have uh, another thing I want to tease. I, I've been teasering this a little bit for a little while. So um, I'll explain it. So basically, I commissioned a cosplayer to cosplay as my OC, the one that you see before you on screen. Yes, real life. Yeah, <laughs> IRL. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> what the hell is that? Yeah, I commissioned a cosplayer to dress up like this character, um, and uh, it will happen very soon. And you'll see what what I mean and what's going to happen with that soon. Just uh, wait and see, you know. Just stick around long enough, and you'll see some interesting stuff happening in the next couple of weeks. So, just to let you know. Cosplay. Yeah. Free extra dabs? Yeah, of course. Sneezes and hits follow button? Hell yeah. Thanks so much for the follows, guys. I appreciate it. Also, just to explain, I also have a bunch of commands. So one of them is exclamation point gold. That's just for the goal down here. I have one called uh, exclamation point internet. It's because I have shit internet and my internet fucking dies. But yeah, it, I don't know why I'm whispering. I'm being weird. But uh, my internet has issues and usually the bit rate likes to die. So that's the command for that. And the other one is exclamation point audience. Basically... Um, it gives, it links you to a paste bin, and then if you donate exactly like 100 bits, 101, 320, 315, 310, 666, certain bit amounts, it plays, uh, special sound effects, and these sound effects affect, uh, well, uh, you know, like, like audience clapping, booing, cheering, you know, laughing, laugh tracks, you know, sort of like a sitcom or like a talk show audience. So I decided to do that, and obviously all the bits go towards this goal down below, and, um, Yeah. You can play them during the interview and stuff like that. And also, there's also a form on that audience command as well, as you can see. And that's for uh, when I get my new talk show world, I have actually not 40, but actually 58 seats in my new talk show world. Yeah, I counted 58 seats in my new talk show world for the audience. Now, if you were to say, do you actually expect you to fit like 58 audience members? No. But there is up to 58, 58 seats. I think um, if I was to have 58 people in the audience, I would have to have the most strict like avatar policy. I would have to say your avatar has to be good or excellent quality. And it has to have like literally nothing. And I have to like limit damage bones and like everything. Because having 60 Heck people yeah. in the, in First the audience. First time doing this bit thing on Twitch. Good luck with everything, my dude. Hey, Toasty, thank you so much for the 100 bits, man. I appreciate that. But uh, like I said... If I was to have 60 people or even 20 or 30 people, I, I it is it does say in the forum that you're going to have to have an optimized avatar. If not, you can always use the VR chat optimized. Some of the avatars, like literally the default ones, are pretty optimized because they're quest compatible. Or we may also have an avatar in the world itself, the talk show world, where you'll be asked to use if your avatar is uh, not, uh, you know, optimized. But yeah. Your chat's gonna break. I mean, I've been in worlds of seventy people in them. You know, I, when I go to Neko Nights literally every Friday, which is tomorrow, by the way, um, there's literally sixty plus people in there. And my computer still runs and doesn't die. So like, it's because most people in that world actually have decent avatars. They're not like laggy as shit. You know, just just saying. You know, if you actually care about your avatar and actually care about other people's frames you know you can have 60 people in a world pretty easily in vr chat it's just obviously the average person does not care at all because there's no repercussions so yeah frame drop i've seen a world with 80 plus it was rough because people had crap av- that's what i'm saying we have uh 75 in rob's lobby yeah i believe that i've i watch rob's uh vods 
on a pretty regular basis and i see that he has like 70 plus people in it and it works like it's not his map it's literally just people's avatars like one person like um i've interviewed people where uh someone who was interviewing took me from 90 to 30 frames of one avatar so that's what i'm seeing like people's avatars is what really crashes and what really uh likes people up yes there are crappy worlds no doubt in my mind but w the moment that you go to a decent world that's optimized properly it's just people it, like, it's just people's avatars like if everyone used actual good avatars you wouldn't lag like i remember i went to a japanese uh, community world and all their avatars are super optimized because they care about other people and there were 60 people um what were they doing they were working out like they're all squatting and like doing stretches and stuff it was the weirdest thing i've streamed it actually it was a long time ago like a couple months back but uh, i streamed that and it was very interesting to see a bunch of people like uh, working out in vr chat and I've never seen anything like it, but I didn't lag in the world because the world's optimized and everyone's avatar is optimized, which is awesome. So it goes to show you, you know, if you optimize your avatars, you optimize the world, you can literally have 60 to 70 people in a club really easily or in like a world pretty easily. It's just a lot of people just don't care. And I feel like I've always preached this. I always say this. Please Please, if you're going to play VRChat and actually upload your own models, I know you can't control public avatars, but if you're going to, you know, get your own model into VRChat or build it or kit bash it or whatever, please atlas it. Please make an effort to, like, actually make it, like, optimized or and stuff like that. Or if you don't know how to do it, ask your friend or whoever is going to upload your avatars for you. Please tell them to, like, hey, can you please optimize it? Can you please atlas the materials? Can you please make it so it has doesn't have one million damage bone colliders and shit? So... Um, you don't have a computer of 50 AMD Ryzen 7s, just hyper-threaded together? Yeah. Yeah, totally. I remember that in the 80-plus world house, I actually came up to me and my friend and thanked us that we had optimized avatars. Sorry, also 44. <laughs> 20 of 48 bytes. Oh my god, dude. <sighs> 50 flex bone skirts. Yeah, I heard that skirt or skirts are pretty bad for VR chat because like, or cloth physics, I think is what it was. I remember a lot of people were complaining about cloth physics like two years ago. It was pretty bad, pretty unoptimized stuff. Like I said, it just really depends on, on, the, on the person. But like if everybody uses like a similar avatar, like I've been to clubs, like off stream clubs um, that force you, like they literally have door people at the spot and they're like, hey, your avatar is very poor, change it right now, or use this avatar, or you're kicked out of the lobby. And obviously I complied, and you know, changed my avatar to this, like, they gave me an avatar. I went into the club, there was like 65, maybe 70 people in this club, all full body. I wasn't, because I was just chilling. But, I mean, not everybody, but like, I would say like 90% of them. So like 60 out of 65 of them, all full body. They were all just like different, like their own stuff. And they were just dancing and like going like crazy. It was the most coolest thing I've ever seen. I was like, oh my God, I can understand why they enforce, like make sure your avatar is optimized as hell, bro. Like they'll kick your ass. Like, because they want to have a good experience, right? They just want to have one shitter join and like literally crash the whole lobby by just having a poopy avatar. So like there's cool clubs like that. And, and I agree on their rules and stuff, you know? Bones is nice because you can just limit damage bones, true. Or you can turn them off. There's also uh, a way to turn off damage bones permanently. Like if you edit your own, um, it's like a f file you edit. I've, the devs told me about it a while ago. I do that if the clubs are busy and I limit them. I know the club you speak of? Yeah. If you can see my face, you know, I'm raising my eyebrows like, yeah. Winky winky, you know. You know what I'm talking about. So you're saying everyone has to wear skin tight bodysuits? I can agree with this policy. I didn't say about that. I'm just saying optimize avatars, but sure. Uh, that that are good advice about the avatars. I really want to have my first own avatar. I never played VR chat, so there's something I have to really watch out for. I mean, I, the funny thing is to make your avatar optimized, it literally is like a 10 minute tutorial. I think Karita on YouTube, he's also a Twitch streamer. Um, he's my good friend and um. He made a tutorial on like how to atlas and how to optimize your avatar. And it's like a 10 minute like YouTube video. Like if you like literally step by step, 10 minutes. If you cannot take 10 minutes out of your day to like optimize your avatar, like clearly you don't care for others, you know? Or make an effort to. I think you're thinking of the wrong set. 
Oh, okay. Skin tight bodysuit. You know, I never ever thought about it, but I could get uh, my OC to have a bodysuit. You know, like a zipper. Man, I really... <sighs> just imagine that. Like having one of those bodysuits is like, like a Catwoman, right? And then you just go like, shh, like that. Holy shit. I know that, like, I know you can do, like, emotes, like, you know, take off clothes, like a sweater or whatever. But, I mean, like, actual emote, like, actually goes like this. It goes, like, whoop, like that would be dope if you could actually do that. <laughs> I'm like, holy shit. Anyway, five, six minutes before the interview starts. That would be Pog. What's up, Frosty Frog? You actually optimized for Quest? <laughs> Yeah, there's a lot of uh, free avatars in VR chat. They're very optimized. But um, I'll, I'll let you guys on a know and a little secret. So yesterday, not really a secret, but uh, yesterday I've interviewed uh, Snow SOS again for the third time, and uh, he was very pushing uh, for Neos VR, which is a separate um, separate social game. You know, I've talked about it before. I never played it before. Never even made an account. But um, earlier today, uh, one of my good friends, or a friend that I knew for a long time, Doji, uh, she's helping me out to bring this avatar into Neos VR. And I don't know if I'll do it tonight, but uh, I think tomorrow Snow is doing a 24-hour stream. I don't know if I'll be streaming it, but um, I'll definitely be uh, checking out Neos VR. And uh, she's gonna, uh, Doji's gonna upload this avatar, and, show, and they're gonna show me around. Uh, um, Neos VR, so I'm, I'm interested, you know, I've only been playing VR chat for two and a half years, I started playing uh, December 10th, 2017, it's, it's what, uh, June 4th, so I've actually almost played almost just like six days before it's two and a half years of playing VR chat, so there you go, 4,000 like 100 hours, some some crap like that, are you going to stream it, I'm, I'm not too sure, um, if I'm going to be streaming or not, because I feel like I never played it. So I don't want to like have to balance, like setting up chat and then be like, Oh my God, like, what do I do? Like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm going to be lost. I'm like, I'm going to be like a lost kid in like a department store. I'm like, Oh, Oh. And, and I feel like I just want to like try out the game and not have to worry about entertaining chat and be like, Oh, like chat. Like, you know what I mean? Like, um, so I might just do that first, like, uh, experience off stream and then figure out how to do things and then stream it maybe i'm not too sure we'll have to see um let's also get a uh, veronica in here but um one last thing i'll talk about really quickly so uh i don't think i see her on by the way i have her added um is that uh, I applied for a partner, you know, like three weeks ago, almost, I think it's almost been four weeks now since I've actually applied for Twitch partner. Still no word on that. So I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Right. I think judging from other people, I think I'm going to hear back when it's five to six weeks. So in another week or two, I should hear back from Twitch and be like, Hey, am I, a, am I a set or not? It's only supposed to take a week by the way. But I think with, you know, the pandemic, you know, and, and the protests and all that stuff, um, I think the Twitch is uh, understaffed or, you know, they're, they're uh, struggling to get through all the, what do you call, applications. So, yeah. That sucks, right? It is what it is, though. You know, if I don't get it, you know, it's whatever. I mean, it's not the end of the world. Um, I'll still stream. I'll still do my talk show. I still like love what I do, and that's all that matters to me, right? I'm interested in your thoughts about it. What, oh, uh, about uh, Neos VR. Yeah, I'm. I'm interested. You know, Snow was uh, very. Uh, what do you call it? Very descriptive. What you can do in the game and tell me all these cool things are like way better than VR chat. So, you know, I'm not paid by any company to say anything. So my my uh, general what do you call it, like, opinion is unbiased, you know? Like, I, I'm not sponsored to say anything. Well, I do have one sponsor, but it has nothing to do with uh, VR games. It's uh, Mod Mic Antlion Audio, the one that does the the Mod Mic. So that's my only sponsor, but uh, that's nothing to do with, like, really, uh, you know, VR chat and stuff. Anyway, um, I still don't see her on. Am I just flipping out or what is this like this menu broken or what's going on here i love mon mike yeah i love mon mike too hello cyber chimp what's up 
Man, what if I just quit VR chat and become a Neos VR streamer? Just bring my talk show? <laughs> I don't think that's going to happen. Because I would have to convince every guest that already plays VR chat to then come to Neos VR. And that's like pulling teeth. That's like hurting cats. It's going to be like, hey, you want to come in my talk show? Now you have to play Neos VR. And I don't think anyone's going to do it. The, the port my map would be really easy to do. But um, to actually convince people to like come over, would I just don't see it happening right now. Do the what? Do what your heart tells you, my dude. I appreciate that. May 9th, was it? Yeah, May 9th was the day I. Uh, excuse me, my my eyes itchy. May 9th is uh when I applied for partner. Yes. Damn. It seems uh, easier to get people to try Trail VR over Neos VR. Well, yeah, there's also one more other one called Oasis VR, but I, I know absolutely nothing about Oasis. I just randomly stumbled upon it on YouTube. I was just looking up like Chill Out VR, and then I randomly saw like Oasis VR. I was like, what the heck is this? It's like another, you know, social game cologne. I know nothing about that one, but Chill Out VR, I've actually played a little bit. Um, I know a little bit about that, and some of the de I know some of the devs from uh, Chill Out VR. And then um, some of the devs of Neos VR also uh, have been in my chat and talked to me. And, you know, other streamers and other people tell me about it. I apologize. You know, I'm looking to invite Veronica right now. And I don't see her on. I do have her added. So uh, is VR chat, like, dying? Or what's going on here? I have her added. Let me double check. Yeah, on my friends list. It says they're online. The heck? Dude, this game. All right, let's go play Neos VR. <laughs> this game's bugged. Can I just can we get like a non-buggy uh, friends list for once? Scuffed, scuffed game. Yeah, I'm looking in the V. I'm okay, maybe. Um, let me check something. Maybe it's maybe if Veronica is like not in the V's and it's like somewhere else. That could happen. Maybe I'm just not looking. Let me look up for them. My entire uh, friends list here then. Because sometimes people have, you know, like, it'll say, like, Ray or something, and then, like, it starts with an R, but it actually is, like, in the A's or whatever. Like, it, it, sometimes that happens, you know? Your chat be goofed. Um, no, I don't... the heck? Bruh! Look, I'm, I know how to fix this, okay? Like you, you, how you, you normally fix the friends list is you expand it and then close it. Wait, I just thought there's one other way I can fix this. So if I, uh, if I favorite them to my, uh, f uh, hold on here. If I, fa if I favorite them as like a friend, it will put them in that playlist, right? Or group. Yeah, I'll favorite them. Boom. Now. They'll be on the top here. So this is called uh, using your brain. No, they're offline, so I'm not wrong. There you go. I guess Veronica's late. It's 7.03. Oof. Skips interview today and goes to play Neos VR. Yeah, let's go play Neos VR, guys. A brain. What's a brain? I don't know. Yeah, like uh, sometimes uh, I'll give you some pro tips while while we're waiting. So um, if you can't find somebody, please if you if you play VR chat like on a regular basis, I highly suggest using the friend groups. Um, basically, I, I, you don't have to name them. Just put them like friend group. Just put them like friends one, two, three. That's what I do. And pretty much, I just put like I just favorite people that I usually hang with or talk to on a regular basis. But um, if you if you struggle to find someone, you can use the search. See, this is the one thing that's broken in VR Chat. I'll show you. Hold on. I'll switch cameras or switch views here. One second. I have to like go to my computer to switch scenes. I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about here. Okay. Okay. So you see friend groups, right? 
So you have friends one, two, and three. So let's say, like, hypothetically, you know, oh, my God, I can't find Evolved Ant or something, even though I don't have them favorited. Or uh, who, who do I have? Uh, like, Sugar or something, right? Yeah, like, Sugar Cube. See that little star? It's like, oh, my God, I can't find Sugar Cube. What the heck? So you uh, favorite her, or you uh, click, and then you favorite. Obviously, I already have her favorited. And then you go down, uh, and then, boom, it's right, it's, right, it's right there. So, like, that's how easy it is. Um you know, and that's that's basically it. Pro tip. Or if um you know you can't find that person, you can also do this. This is what I was doing earlier. You can just do whoops, do this. But here's the one thing about doing this search menu is that you cannot invite people this way. You know, even though I know they're offline, right? Even though it says that they are, but like you can't invite people this way. And this is what I hate about VR chat is you can't like you can't search people's names using the search function and actually invite people. Like I'm like, what's the point in this? But the one thing you can do is favorite them, which I just did. Um, I go right here, go down, and then watch. I'll show you. And then, as you can see here, I expand, I close, and there's still. It says in the in the social thing, it said they're online, but you know, scroll over here, and it says they're offline. So like, what the heck is this? Like, look, look offline. I'll show you again. If you're a chat in a nutshell, look at this. Look at this. You look, I click what? Like, <laughs> viewer chat. Hold on. I need to, uh, I just want to show you that. Pro tip use your friend groups. That's weird. Game is broken. Yeah, let's go play Neos, guys. This game's broken. It's a scuffed. Yep. Anyway, any other questions? Wouldn't it be a VR chat stream if it wasn't scuffed? Hey, you're not wrong. All right, yeah, scuff. Listen, if anyone subs, I will do a, a, a Neko Kakuro high pitch voice, like, yeah, yeah. I'll do it only for subs, okay? Just so you know. I'm trying to buy in time, okay? It, it's six minutes past the time, you know? I'm trying to buy time here. Unless you guys have any questions or anything you want to ask me, anything you want to know about anybody behind me or anything like that. Quick, everybody. Who are you? Uh, I'm that one rebel. I've been playing VR chat for two and a half years, over 4,100 hours, and I interview people in VR chat. My person I'm interviewing today is uh, Veronica, aka Furtrap, aka Vizzy, on uh, on their their uh, other character. Redeem your points. He can dab. <clears throat> yeah, I can dab. Dab. Do you have a pic of all your interviews on that wall? Yeah. Oh, there's a lot of you. Oh! <laughs> That's okay. I can handle all of you at once. I lost. Immediately. Nadori, thank you so much for the raid. I you appreciate it. You couldn't stay away, huh? Keep coming back for more, I see. You offer me rebel. That's true, I did. Okay, okay, dude. Why did I say that every time that someone subs, I have to do this Neko cat cr Okay, don't, nobody cringe, okay? <clears throat> oh, Matt Kasu, thank you so much for the sub. Nya, Nya, Mia. I'm never doing that again, dude. Oh. <sighs> Why did I agree to that? I'm wondering if the wedding will be delayed. Yeah, true, same. Yo, James Key's on that wall. Yeah, actually true. I did interview James Key's right over there. Yeah, I did. That was a long time ago. I'm already cringing. That hurt. I cringed. Yeah. Never again until the next sub. True. The fuck? Yeah, we're just waiting. We're waiting for our, our good friend here, Veronica, you know? Actually, you want to know something funny? I don't think I've ever interacted with Veronica in VR chat. Interestingly enough. I'm still not in. Hey, Nudori's in here. Can I just invite Nudori instead? <laughs> like, hey, this is your interview now. <laughs> Let's go, dude. Come on, let me fix this camera angle. There we go. James Key's a great guy. He is. He made the VR Chat in a Nutshell series. He's a good friend oh of mine. Oh my, a new sub. Does this mean you've come to play with me? Damn. Well, I gotta do it now. Ahem. <clears throat> Zero zero S gamer, thank you so much for this sub. Nya, nya, meow. Listen, don't question it, okay? Cringe. 
What? Listen, thanks. Oh, just... look, a new sub to add to my collection. Oh my god. Hey, Twitch Prime, though. <clears throat> How do I say this? Oh god. Heck yes! Uh, thanks so much for the 100 bits divisional. Uh, no, no, if you're in, thanks so much for the sub, Nya. Nya, Nya. Oh. Thanks for the falls, guys. I appreciate that. Yeah, Veronica's late, yeah. Probably murdering somebody. You know how it is. I mean, I'm, we're just chilling, you know. Spending all your biddies like you wanted. Whoa! To I want them all over me. Dude! You sure like spreading your load everywhere. Thanks, darling. Oh my god. Thanks so much for the thousand bits! Holy smokes! Okay. <clears throat> <laughs> Dark and magic, thank you so much for the sub. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and <laughs> pepper and sky McPace and super F and thank you so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus, what's up with those alerts? What do you mean? Those are great alerts. I I commissioned a voice actress to do my voice alerts. What do you mean? Every time that you sub, you get a nice, amazing alert. By a very talented person named Lamani. She streams and plays VR chat, and she's a voice actress. And I uh, commissioned her to do my voice Spending alerts. Spending all your biddies like you what wanted the me calling me. I want them all over me. <laughs> Love the notification. They're amazing. If you want to hear the other, there's 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 a different version. It, it uh, so if you donate twenty five bits, which is a very small amount, but it starts at twenty five to one hundred and fifty or something. So if someone donates twenty five bits, it's a different one. Anyway, thank you so much for the two thousand bits. Holy shit! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. Bully rebel for attention until the guest shows up. Yeah, I guess so. Don't bully me. That's cyber bullying. Thanks for the tokens. Uh, I mean bits. <laughs> oh. Yeah, there you go. Heck yes. That's the other. Uh... Thanks for the tokens. Uh, I mean bits. <laughs> oh. Let's see then. <laughs> yeah, that's the other alert. It starts at 25, and then I forget what, it, what the cutoff period is. There's two alerts. There's one that's um 25 till. Uh, I think it's, I, I forget what I put it to. I think it's 200 or something. And then the 200 plus is the one where it's like spending all your biddies all over me. That's the, that's the one you've heard when, when those playing the 1000, 2000. I don't have any other ones. Um, but I could, I could commission, uh, Lamani again to do more alerts. Would you guys like to have more sound alerts? Like, uh, there's different alerts for, uh, donations as well. So $3, $10, 25, 50, and a hundred. Um, and those bid alerts, there's no, nothing for a follow alert because I think they'll be spammed. Uh, each sub alert is different, you know, new sub, resub. Would you guys actually like to have more alerts like that? Sure. Yes. Let's go. Well, the thing is, I don't know what to, um, what to uh, make her say or, or commission, not make her say, you know what I mean? Like uh, commission her to say, did you, you do it? You sure in like spreading your load everywhere. Thanks, darling. Gamer, thank you so much for the five get to subs. Yeah, I like spreading your load everywhere, huh? I appreciate that. <clears throat> Got you. Or, sorry, gamer. <laughs> Got you. <laughs> Denise Warrior Girl. Uh, Rocky. Uh. Kasara Kawawa and Bruce Gurley, thank you so much for the subs. Nya, nya, meow. I said three dollars, by the way, but I appreciate the one dollar divisional. I appreciate that. Thank you. It's it's three dollars. That's so nice of you. I'm a giver too. Uh, City underscore VR uh, gifted a tier <laughs> one sub. Oh my off. god, you guys they are giving thirteen gift subs in the channel. Um. City Viewer, thank you so much for gifting that sub to Buff Pop. Yeah, yeah, meow. And like I said, uh, since you guys have all joined, we're waiting for Veronica. So I have this bit goal down here, and that's what if, every time you give bits, it goes to fill this goal. So if I get a hundred thousand bits, I will do a maid stream. You know, I think you, you know, Nadori and other people have done maid streams. Pretty much, I'm also getting a maid outfit made from scratch, by the way, by my very talented uh, modeler named uh, Janomu. So the model you see before you is uh, made by Janomu, and uh, she's planning on making an event. Eventually. Not right now, not like a week from now. I'm talking about like maybe months from now or, or whatever when she's uh, available again. But uh, yeah, 
So I'm going to have a, like a Neko maid outfit. So that means I'll have cat ears and a tail and a maid outfit. And I have to sound like a Neko cat girl every time. I have to be like, Nya. after every sentence, I'm going to cringe myself to sleep. I'm never going to let it down. I'm going to be going to like TwitchCon 2021. And someone's going to be like, bro, remember when Rebel did that f the stupid Nya thing? Oh my God. I'm going to cringe myself to sleep, you know? Hello, Ollie. What's up? Yeah. <laughs> And for 250 bits, there is a, a Nya emote. Thank you so much for the 250 bits. I do appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. It's Vizzy Do. What do you expect? Who's your favorite interview? I can't uh, pick a favorite uh, interview. I feel like that's unfair to everybody else that I've interviewed. I've done 155 interviews or something like that. I think that's unfair. I think each interview um, has its own special... Um, you know, it's, each of them are special in their own regard. A lot of uh, interesting stuff. Also, by the way, if you want to watch any of my, um, my interviews, my previous ones, put in the chat, exclamation point, talk show, and it will give you a link to a wiki page. And that wiki page has all my interviews, all listed from oldest to newest. And um, it has all the links as well. So you literally just click whoever you want to interview. Like, oh, you've interviewed this person. You just click it, and then boom, it takes you to the VOD on Twitch, and then you can watch. So... Yeah, uh, City already uh, put the put the command in, but yeah, it only works every like twenty seconds. Hunter's interview was crazy. True. Anyway, let's see if they're even on right now. Oh, there we go. Veronica getting married. What the fuck? Veronica's getting married. Is this true? What time is it? It's fifteen minutes late. Oh my god. Yes. Why am I not invited? What the heck? Can I be the priest? Ouch. You mean Mega as a Mega... Me is it Mega Man or Mega Men? Is that meme or person, right? I know that. Heck yes! Adori's the priest? Okay, can I be like... Uh, what What else can I be? Can I be like the, the bride's groom or... A bridesmaid, not bridesgroom, what the heck? Bridesmaid or something? I thought they were going to be behind me. I was going to poop myself. Make a mem. Yeah. Best man. That's so nice of you. I'm a giver too. Hey, thanks, Anonymous. An anonymous user gifted a tier one sub to Ollie underscore alcoholy. Hey, thank you so much for gifting that sub to Ollie. Yeah, yeah, meow. Listen, I'm going to turn around and I'm going to see. Veronica there, I'm gonna shit myself, you know? The bride's groom, yeah. The bride's groom. I can just look this way, then I know. The wedding singer? I can't sing. I'm gonna sing Barbie Girl, like, really badly. Whew. Level 5 done, hell yeah. Hype train, you get some new emotes. Pog, 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 pog. Who started the hype train? You get the, like, conductor thing, right? You gotta get an invite. Well, I mean, they're coming to my talk show, so I, I, I might as well get invited. You always, you could always ping the hell out of Fizzy. Oh yeah, it's true. I could just keep inviting them, you know, just spam them. There you go. Otter boy is singing at the wedding. Choo choo. With the ring bearer. My God. Anyway, we're still just waiting, you know. Imagine Veronica joining when he does the subscription effect. Why do we get a hyper punk emo? I don't know. A lot of these uh, emotes are just really random. You get a car. What the heck is that? <laughs> you get a car emote. Pretty weird stuff. Thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate that. Yeah, it's time. All right, guys. It's called time to play Neos VR. <laughs> it's 18 minutes late now. You could be a sponsor. They wanted to have a sponsor for Fiji water at the wedding. You know, I'll tell you something. Not only have I interviewed Fiji VR, but also when uh, on the Times Square map, when it was uh, in VR chat, you can do like, uh, you can pick your poster. My poster, the corner of my poster is literally Fiji VR. So I've always said as a joke on my talk show, I'm actually sponsored by Fiji. So, if he's gonna be late for his wedding, yeah, sounds about right. By M32 grenade launchers. 
play Neos in VR chat? I don't think that's, uh, I think my computer will explode. My computer already dies when I'm playing VR chat. I don't think I could run two different games. You know, you can, you can multi-box in VR chat. Did you know that? Like, you can actually load up, like, like, five different, like, VR chat instances. Not instances, like, of the same client. And you can have five of yourself, like, five, like, copies of yourself in a world. You can do that. Uh, like, one of you can be in VR and another bunch of you could be in desktop. Or you can all be in desktop. By the way, it kills your computer. Cause it's really laggy to do, but uh, you can do it. The wedding is sponsored by the blender. Yeah. Did you interview Rose doodle? Yes, I did. I did uh, interview Rose doodle a long time ago. Actually, I, I interviewed her before she uh, got partnered. And then I interviewed her, uh, when I did the artist podcast and then like the day after that she got partnered. So yes. Your following notification keeps making me look at my phone because that's my text message. My, well, it's actually the Switch, like, snap noise. But, yeah. One time Virtua alone kills already many computers. Did you know that in Virtua, you click settings? You, there, or not settings. Uh, yeah. Where's settings? Uh, settings, you can actually click uh, exit VR chat. Did you know that? <laughs> wow, you can actually exit this game? I didn't know that because I never pressed that button because I literally crash before I ever even exit out of the game. Did you know that? Didn't even know there's even... A, I didn't even know, guys. I didn't even know there's an exit VR chat button. I literally did not even know that was a feature. I've been playing this game two and a half years. I literally just crashed. That's how I exit the game. I crash every time, you know? Uh, did you know that Nori is uh, able, actually legal to, certified to legally marry? Yeah, it's called, uh, what do you call it, um, ordained minister, right? That's, is that what it's called? Don't you, like, can't you just, like, get that online or something? Don't you have to, like, pay, like, money for it? Isn't it, like, a license or something? And you just, like, take a little course? Like, anyone can, be, can become an ordained minister. Anyone can do it, man. That's how you spread the word of, of marriage, you know? Also correct. Yeah, how much is it though? Is it like fifty bucks or a hundred or something? I also uh, heard. Well, not really heard. I, I know it for a fact. Anyone can get married. All you have to do is you can go to like your city hall with your spouse or significant under other or whatever, and you can get married for like a hundred bucks or something like that. You just buy a or buy a marriage license. You both sign it, and now you're legally married. And anyone can do that. Obviously, in real life. You know, most people who get married go to a church, get a big wedding, you know, have the after party, pre-party, bachelor party, you know, invite a million people, you know, get the limo and the shit and, you know, get the DJ like, do, 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 you know, get all that stuff. And the fucking wedding's like 10 million trillion uh, tokens. It's more like, uh, no, you know what? I think the average wedding's probably like, what, like five grand to like 10,000? Oh, hello? I'm scared. Hello? What's the matter? There's uh, nothing to be afraid of. Uh, 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 are you the, are you the one I'm gonna talk to today? Of course. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't think we nice ever met. You, Rebel. <laughs> How do you know my name? <laughs> Your nameplate? Oh yeah, true, true. Yeah, you're not wrong. I, I was just testing you, you know, making sure you can read. Anyway, <clears throat> uh, you know, if you if you can move your legs, I highly suggest you turn off this, uh, you know, audience and chairs, unless you want to like fly around and it's kind of annoying, you know. Just saying. Anyway, <clears throat> I'm just setting up the camera here. Just disregard me. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Hello. Well, it's a real joy to be on the show. Really? <laughs> I'm just a simple person, you know? I just talk to people. It's all I do. Well, simple or complicated. We're all special in our own way, right? Yeah. I'm very special. That's what my mom told me. Well, you're special in her heart. Oh, thanks. Good to know. Wow. I feel I really... see you have some questions for me. 
Yeah, of course. <clears throat> Let me um take a drink first, you know. I'm I'm quite parched, you know. My uh <clears throat> I've been sitting here waiting, you know. I love your vocabulary. Oh, thanks. Yeah, I uh I took college, you know, <laughs> English, <laughs> you know. Anyway, so, uh, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to my talk show. I'm your host, That One Rebel. It's my show, Light Night Rebel, and we have our special guest here, uh, Veronica. Hi, how you doing? Splendid. It's good to be here. So, uh, you know, I don't think we've ever really, really met before, you know. A lot of people have been telling me stories, you know. Apparently, you were at a wedding earlier. What happened with that? Like, well, tell me about it. Actually, that's happening in an hour. Oh, yeah? From now. Oh, yeah? Who are you getting married to? The love of my life, Megamine. Oh, yeah? I know that. That's... We've known each other for a while. Oh, yeah? What's a while? Mm, a few months. Oh. It really seems like it's been longer. Oh. Uh. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, it's, it seems, seems, uh good time so uh do you have uh you know the ring bearer do you have the priest do you have uh you know witnesses of course we got all of that ready oh, yeah? actually tonight tonight is actually gonna be a grand a grand ceremony oh yeah you would really you would really enjoy it oh <laughs> we have everybody ready even the priest the flower girl oh yeah so you're saying even a singer uh, am I invited? If they can make it. Would you like to watch? Uh, yeah. I, I mean, I got nothing else to do. I'm just gonna, you know, talk to you, ask some questions. I might as well drop by, you know, be there as a witness, you know. Make sure everything is, uh, you know, nice. You know, I like free food, you know, talk, socialize, you know how it is. Absolutely. Well, more than just getting married today. Isn't there something you want to know about me? Oh, of course. I wanna. I wanna ask you. You know, how how did you uh, how did you end up in uh, this grand uh, world of uh, VR chat? You know, how how did you end up here? Hmm. Well, that was quite an adventure in and of itself. Actually, I started here as a mute. I was actually really nervous to be able to talk at first sight. The day came, and I actually had a bit of confidence in myself. Once I walked it up, of course, people seemed to like my voice. And I figured since, henceforward, I will just keep using my voice. Okay. Why? That was my beginning. Why, why did you choose to not talk? Were you just, like, scared? Worried? Anxious? Anxiety? What do you see into my eyes? Yeah? Do you see how shy I am? I'm gonna be honest. I, I see a, a galaxy, you know? I see myself in your eyes, you know? A reflection of uh, my former self, so... You know. Hmm, really creative. I see that all the time. But really, everyone says that. It loses its value <laughs> after you've been told that so many times. True. True. But it's my first time talking to you, really settling down. I do so. appreciate the gesture, though. Yeah, I'm just, you know... I'm not trying to hit on you or anything, you know. <laughs> Obviously, because you're getting married, right? I'm just, you know... Real funny, just because I got red hair. Well, us redheads do make good friends. You seem pretty nice yourself. Yeah, I'm uh, well dressed, you know. I got a nice scarf, I got these glasses, you know. If I'm without them, I wouldn't be able to see you, you know. I'm saying. Very nice. <laughs> so, alright, so, uh,. So you started talking, you know, you're, you're more confident, you're getting married. So tell me about some of your adventures, you know, what's been going on in the last couple of months? You know, how'd you, you know, tell, tell well, me about course, it. There's many tales to tell, mm -hmm. especially since the beginning to now. <clears throat> what do I start? Well, 
Even ever since, I didn't have a voice. I used to have... Well, if you'd say... Demons I'd wrestle with. Demons? What? So, it came... Well, of course... Uh, this one's a little... It's a little hard to explain. Well... Heck I yes! Abbott mentioned Ron My he didn't mention anything regarding best the version Catherine. of myself. To Maybe everyone, she planned I mean. for cannibalism and you're the plate trap scene. Sometimes people just look at me in fear. Why? What what do you mean? You look innocent? What do you mean? I look like I would give you a nice hug, some head pats? What do you mean? You look pretty you look like a nice person, you know? I, I would, you know, you look like you're just going to school, having a good time. I don't know why you're getting married, but, you know, it is what it is, you know. You look a little young, but I don't judge. We'll get there in a second. But I've realized so many people were so afraid of me. I didn't know what to do exactly. And then in the blink of an eye, people would be dead. What? What what do you mean they're dead? What do you, what do you, what do you mean? Well, that one's also usually complicated too. You see, they would blame me. Blame you? What oh you mean like they're dead inside I know what they're talking about. They're they're, they're you're talking no, about no, what, no, no. what you know like massacre with a knife. What? Of course, of course. Um You see, there's this thing living inside of me. What? A thing? Like I'm host to some kind of demon. Describe this demon. You know, what? What it, does this demon tell you to do things? Well, for starters, it's like... Every time the demon takes control, I don't remember any of it. So, whatever happens is completely out of my control. Oh. Uh, okay. Um, so, uh, do you remember any no anything? Need to be nervous. Uh, do you remember anything when the demon <laughs> takes over? Mm, not at all. Actually, well, <laughs> to further that, it, well, it's like a blackout. Oh. Like a great abyss of space. And then I wake up, and then time resumes again. You know, like a jump cut in a video? Uh, yeah, jump cuts, oh, yeah. Like that. Well... <laughs> As it turns out, it was me all along. What? <laughs> what? What do, you, what do you? What do you mean? <laughs> Roxanne? <laughs> <laughs> that reaction is <laughs> delicious. What'd you do with Veronica? Whoa, 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 who are you? Me? Well, Veronica is not here. Oh. I, allow me to introduce myself. I am Roxanne. And you are in immediate danger. <laughs> what, what, what do you mean by that? I'm just, uh, I'm just a reporter. Listen, I'm trying to get your story what, out of here. What do you, you mean know? by what? What? Did I say something wrong again? No, 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 no. It's just, um, 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 I, I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm just having deja vu or I don't know. I stutter sometimes, you know? You ever get that feeling of deja vu? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I do. Uh, anyway. So this demon of mine. Yeah. Well, she... She does really nasty things. If it's violence, if it... If it she, she generally makes people uncomfortable. Mm-hmm. Later, I ended up finding out. Actually, we'll go in order events. 
So, as I begin to make a bunch of friends out in VR chat, it's been, it's been quite an adventure. I did eventually meet this lovely, sweet fox, um, and they ended up showing me what I really am. So we went back to my homeland, and as it turned out, all of my memories came back. It was, it was like a flashback, like a rush of emotions. <laughs> you see, Rebel, what I used to be hundreds of years ago was a, was a princess. I never really was a queen. However, when when we got, it was it was one of the most tragic wars that we've ever been, ever. We lost so many lives, and in the wake of that, well, it all ended. And I never got to see my sister again. She always put herself in danger. <laughs> you have a sister? You D see. Oh. Just one, just one sister. You see, as part of the royal line, we have one king, one queen, and we had only two sisters. And. Well, we were kind of divided between our parents. You see, my father wanted me to stay safe in the castle and work on governing. He saw me to be most fit to, well, lead the kingdom. And then my sister, on the other hand, she would always go out and venture, usually with my mother. Even then, well, we never. Still a touchy subject, but we never heard from them again. I was kind of left alone. Fast forward a hundred years, I was still here, but everything around the world was different. Like, things really changed. And... Well... As my partner, Mega, brought me back to that kingdom, it was in ruins. Just as I remembered it. Of course, with erosion and all that. But then I realized something. For all the battle and the carnage, why me? Why did I survive? Then we, qu we quickly realized something. We put two and two together. You see, when I used to know my sister, she'd always have this book in her hand. It was very peculiar red and black. It was. The grim something, the... Huh? It was something in French. I, I, I don't remember. But... She would always have this book. And even then, it was just... It was just so p peculiar, out of place. Now, I know she'd always get in trouble, and because we are... We... We are twin sisters, so... I would get blamed a lot. Uh, I would definitely get blamed a lot. <sighs> oh my god, who the hell cares? Then I realized... ...that we are related. <laughs> well, uh, yeah. <laughs> I understand, you're... ...related, uh... ...yeah. Well, it, was, it wasn't easy... ...winning that war. But even then... I was responsible for all the casualties. Only. 
there was one. So I had to save. And that was my sister. Well, as I control her body, I can make her immortal. Uh, uh, wait, you. Wait, well, hold up. You're, you're saying you're, you're both sharing the same Why the fuck you lying? body? Why you always lying? Mm, oh my god. Stop your fucking lying. Oh, yeah, uh, I, I, I think you, uh, you, your sister or something was talking. I'm, I'm not sure. Well, of course, of course. <laughs> we had a relaxing trip in a cabin. Oh. Sometime right after. And then, M Mega, well, showed me something special. It was a surprise. Right in the mirror. Oh, yeah? And all along, I realized, every time I looked in the mirror, it wasn't me. It was my sister. Quite literally. And he showed me this. I had an epiphany. So this whole time, I've been actually two people. I didn't realize it. So I figured I would live as long as I can to protect my sister. And to help many of the lives around me. But even then, it's difficult sometimes. Especially how much she gets in trouble. So what you're saying is uh, she gets you in trouble a lot. Like, uh, what kind of trouble, you know? Uh, you know, like car trouble, you know? Like, uh, not paying the bills on time type of trouble. Or, like, what do you, what, what do you mean by uh, trouble, you know? Well... More or less like social tr troubles. Oh. And people dying. Oh. I guess I could get law enforcement. Uh, yeah, I would be on law enforcement's bad side. Oh, the VRPD. Case. Yeah. Adam's a crap cop. Yeah, I remember that. Adam? I've never met Adam. Yeah, he's a crap cop. Don't worry about it. Are you sure his name's not Steve? There's many cops. Well, the leader's Adam. He's the chief. Alan? Yeah, there's Alan. Okay. <laughs> Dave. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Hmm. So, d does that mean you get ba blamed for your sister's actions? You know, where, uh, you know, you're just... Uh... Well, quite often. Oh. Really, it's just... I don't really have control. Oh, half the time. However, my partner's been actually really on top of it. He's doing a spot-on job trying to keep, well, my demons at bay. I feel like without him, I would lose control. Everything does seem really fine around. Where he keeps a level head. Everyone else looks at me in fear, when I least expect it. But not him. It's like... a transcending amount of trust. It was really valuable. It still is. Because nobody looked at me quite the same as he would. I understand. I, I think I think you're just a troubled soul, you know. Sometimes we all have uh, troubles, you know. Sometimes. Uh, I know I'm a complicated soul. Yeah, you know I have a voice in the back of my head that uh, tells me to do things and make sure I keep in check, you know. Well, they could talk to you all they want. Mine doesn't. <laughs> She's very disconnected. I do hope to talk to her sometime. I do miss my sister. Did you ever try and talk to her in the mirror? Well, 
I see her. Yeah, the voice in the back of the Rebel's head. Back is yeah. My action. It's not quite as simple. Well, it's more complicated than you would think. But all I know is that my only link to my past is my sister. I don't really have a family after that. You're, well, it's just you and your sister, that's it? With the exception it? of Mega. Oh. With the exception of Mega, of course. He feels much like family. I do feel right at home around him. Yeah, the one you're going to marry. Of course. <laughs> do you have uh, any, any plans for a honeymoon? A, a honeymoon? Well, um... That's supposed to be in private, right? Yeah, you know, we you always go to like you know the I Great mean, Pug or something. Beach. Yeah, you go to the beach, you know, go to the uh, hotel at the beach, you know. Lots of people go there. It's a good time, you know. Hmm. Well, I mean, that's about it for me. Unless you want to know anything else. Oh, I'm not happy to explain. What's uh, you know, uh, you know, does uh, does Roxanne have a your sister? Um, does she have any uh, you know, targets or anyone that she specifically doesn't like? Yeah, I'm glad you might ask. Actually, I don't like anyone who gets in the way. Try and health my sister I do get very protective but I also get very protective of Omega <laughs> after all he is so charming you would understand if you spend time yeah I'm sh I'm sure uh, such a wonderful lover I, I won't stand in your way I'm just you know here to talk to you and your sister <clears throat> what about my sister? Oh, I, uh, nothing, don't worry about it. It's just, you know, just, uh, you know, I got, like I said. Of course I'm gonna worry about it, being very wiggy, just like everyone else. No, 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 it's, it's <laughs> fine, it's fine. I just said your sister's a nice person, um, you know, hopefully the marriage goes well, you well, know. she can be nice, but very, how do I put it? She's very peculiar, especially when I knew her growing up. Oh yeah, like what? Very patient and methodical. All attributes perfect. Actually perfect for being a killer. Wait, what? A serial killer? What do you mean? Well, I don't know for sure if she really is a serial killer. But I do know it's back, it's back in my head. It's the Grimoire. That's the book that she was using. And that could have been what summoned all the demons. You see, the kingdom... It had a very... Very slim chance of winning. I believe... What my sister tried to do... Was try to get all the demons to fight on our side. Well... That didn't work all well. Now did it. Um. Yeah, <laughs> the demons. Well, yeah. Um. Oh hi. Huh. What's the man there? What's what you got there? You don't need to be so near. Can you hold it a little higher? Or you know, I just wanna. <laughs> oh, now I can see it. Hold what a little higher. Uh, the thing you're holding. This. Yeah, yeah, that. What? What's <laughs> that for? Is that for vegetables? Uh, it's a family heirloom. Oh, what's this the? This is the blood roll. Okay. You should really know what it's capable of. Of gloss. It can steal life force. Um. Um. Excuse me. Life force. Well, it is a, it's a very magical item. In fact, I let no one near it. 
This is my spaceship. As you would Lord of the Rings fans would say. <laughs> yeah, so uh you you capture life forces, uh do you have a counter on that? Like you know how many uh, lives you've taken or uh Do you believe this is Zia's go? Ah, oh, you can never have enough. <laughs> You wouldn't want to be on the wrong end of this site. Oh, I, I get it. Um, how do you know when you get enough? You know, what happens? Hmm. Well, I may have ulterior motives. But I cannot disclose that now. <laughs> That's so nice of you. Ironic. I'm a giver too. It's me, City okay. underscore VR gifted Filming? a tier one sub to Cyberchimp. <laughs> they have given 14 gift subs yeah, in the channel. Yeah, um... But they still love her. <laughs> yeah, your sister's a nice person. Um, uh, yeah, I, I can agree. I think you're both a very dynamic duo. You know, you got a lot of similarities. You both love uh, Mega, right? So, that's something. What do you, what do you think about Mega? Uh, I feel like I'm most deserving of his love. I also feel I was most deserving of the throne. However, there was no one to rule. So I moved on. Yeah. And what happened next? Well, as you would say, I was on my last leg. Until then, I found the way. To be a mortal. And that is through a hope. What? So then, what the better of it than my sister? Right? Yeah. Yes, yes. Good. I'm glad you understand. <laughs> oh, I un I understand a hundred and ten percent. You, you, I have no doubt in my mind. Good, I'm glad you understand. Yeah. Let me get to, let me can get to the part where Mega got stuck in the peanut butter. Wait, why he got stuck in the peanut butter? What happened? Oh, um, don't worry, he's okay now. <laughs> oh, okay. He's just trying to make a sandwich. Oh no. yeah, peanut butter sandwich. Wait, peanut butter jelly or peanut butter banana? You know, that's the real question. Banana, of course. Okay. All right, all right. You ever make banana bread? Oh. Banana bread is pretty good. Banana bread? Yeah, you know, use like those almost rotten oh, bananas. Oh, it's Mega's favorite. Yeah. Actually, we have plenty of bananas at home. There's oh. so many recipes with them. Oh, you so you know, you know how to of cook? Course. Well, I figured out how. But the only one who can make banana bread the best is Mega. And of course, when Mega makes anything from bananas, it tastes the best. Of course, I'd have Mega's banana any day. Oh yeah. Well, of course. You should try it sometime. Perhaps oh. at the wedding. Oh, I'm down to try some some bananas, a hundred percent. I I I like I like it when it's a few days old. Honestly, you know, Just saying I don't like when it's green. When it's green. Yeah, they start oh. green and then they turn yellow and then they black. I prefer when they're yellow. They're the most welcoming and warmest of colors. Oh yeah. And they taste the best. Yeah, pro tip. When you buy bananas, buy them when they're green, and then the next day it'll turn yellow. Just letting you know. Pro tip. Pro tips. Yeah. <laughs> I know a lot about bananas. Anyway. Well, what's your favorite fact about bananas? What's the my fact that they're so appealing? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I like it. Zing. Yeah. Sorry, force of habit, you know. I, I Mannerisms. Of yeah, <laughs> you seem to make jokes. You know, you like to make jokes, puns. Mm. I'm not too versed in puns or jokes. 
And people say I'm too serious sometimes. Oh, yeah? But after what I've been through, I'm sure you would understand, right? Yeah. Right? Yeah, 100%. Yeah, I, I understand you 110%. <laughs> Yeah. So, uh. If you don't mind. Yeah. I have a wedding. You had ten. You certainly do. It starts in like five minutes, right, or something? Right. Oh. <laughs> uh -huh. So. <clears throat> I'll be seeing you around. Yeah, I'll see you in like a few, I guess, if I'm going to that wedding, you know? Get the invitation. Of course. That's if uh. you survive this. What? Oh! <coughs> what the? <laughs> <laughs>